Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs and welcome back to another episode of the We Create User's Guide here. This is going to be a more in-depth look at the focus point on both the Vista and the Vision. I know I covered it quickly in the last video, but like I said, we're going to do more of a deep dive in random burst sessions. And this one's going to be why this is so important. So this little red dot here is your actual focus point on the Vista. Uh, we'll be talking about the vision here in just a second. The reason why this is important, this tells your laser how thick your material is and it'll change the focal point within the laser head allowing it to cut that material correctly. If you have the wrong focal point then it's not going to cut that material correctly because the beam will be wider or thinner and it won't cut as well. So you, um, you will always have to have this red dot touch the material. So in this case, it's a real big board. It's hard to miss. But if you take out this big board, and let's say you want to engrave like this leftover piece of scrap wood here, you have to put it down in there so that red dot touches it right there. So um, in this section, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. You can line it up how you want. But if I move it all the way to the right here, you don't see that red dot it lands right here where my, red, my finger is. It's actually touching the bottom of this grate and it's gonna read either negative or zero and then your uh, laser is not gonna focus or adjust for the height of your material. It's gonna be off, your engraving is gonna look horrible or it won't cut at all through this material. So on the Vista, super important, you put it in the center of the machine. Um, I'll, I'll quickly switch to the actual software here. As you can see, it's blank. We're gonna click refresh to uh, refresh that with our lid open on the Vista. And you can see that red dot. Now this is where it's also important. So let's say we don't like that. That doesn't look square enough to us. Um, we're gonna switch back to the machine. We're gonna move this and try and square it up a little bit. So I slightly moved it. I barely moved it. Um, just to show you a more drastic thing, I'm gonna move it all the way over here. Um, and now let's switch back to the computer again. So as you can see, nothing moved on the computer, but I moved it in the machine. What you have to do is you have to click refresh. A lot of people don't know this, and then they're going to wonder why their print printed way over here or something whenever it should have printed on this side over here. So now that it refreshed, you've seen that whole sheet jump over there, um, and it's now properly set. So in order to do the focus, now that we have it in the right area that we want, we got to click auto measure like we did in the last video. That's going to take a real quick screenshot um, of your uh, wood on the machine. And then it will refresh that picture one more time. And now it adjusts to 2.58 millimeters thick of a material. That's how thick this material is. And that is the Vista. So we're going to go ahead and switch over a new view to the vision and we're going to start this whole process over and we'll show you how much difference there is in the vision. All right, you guys. So as you can see, we are now on the vision versus the Vista. And this one has a red laser dot that focuses as well, but it doesn't focus in the center. So if I open this up, you'll see in the center, there's no red dot. It's all the way in the top left corner now with the laser head. What this does is that little red dot will actually come to the center point of any design that you put on your material. And then the whole machine is going to lower down, set focus, and then lower back up. Um, so I'll show you an example of that here really quick. Um, we're going to jump over to the software here. Now that we're in the software, you can see the lid just closed. Um, we already uh, click refresh. I'm going to click refresh one more time just because I opened the lid. That'll refresh the image here of what looks like in the bed. And then you need at least some design in there. So for this example, we're gonna just use a small square and uh, we're gonna move it to like this corner here, just so you can see an example of what's going on here. And then uh, all you need to do now is click autofocus and the machine's gonna autofocus here. You'll see the machine take an image, it'll go black. And then the whole machine is currently lowering down. As you can see, my hand get lower and lower. Hopefully, I can capture that on camera. It's kind of a weird angle here. But it's lowering down, and it's actually taking a measurement of the thickness of that material based on that red laser dot. 
So it's now auto-focused and it's ready to cut and then you can go ahead and hit print and it will be the right focus point. Now, if you want to do the same thing as the Vista, this is where it gets a little bit more advanced. Obviously, this is too big of a board here. Um, if Let's say I move this board out and I want to use that little sample piece again. We're going to place that in here like this. Now I have to realign and refocus a different height if this is a different material, which it is a different material. So I'll show you that here really quick too. So now that we redid this, we're going to go ahead and refresh this uh, picture on the software here. So we have our new board in there. It refreshed. It's now ready to take another image, but our design is off to the left here. So it's going to focus off the grid here on the left. You need to move that design onto your board where you want to cut it. So in this case, I like the vision a little bit more than the Vista because I can place this anywhere I want to cut it. Let's say I want to do in the top right corner of this design. We'll put it there. And then we click auto focus one more time. The lid is now rehiring from the, the bottom position to go back to the set point so it can take another measurement. It's going to then turn off and then it's going to remeasure based on the center of your design. So always keep that in mind. It's going to go to the center of your design, lower, touch that little um, red laser dot to the, the bottom of the material, take that measurement, and then it will be refocused for your machine ready to cut, ready to go. Um, we'll go over to the software one last time. As you can see, it is refreshed, it's ready to cut, um, and the height is 6.39 millimeters, it says. And we're gonna go ahead and click on um, start. That's all you gotta do is hit start and you're ready to engrave. Um, this height is gonna be different based on each machine, based on the height of the actual crumb tray so keep that in mind so um, if you're swapping between machines and you want to manually type it in you may run into that issue as well but that is my as in-depth guide to the focus height as possible Hope hopefully you guys found this helpful if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below